Hi, Ricerstown. This is Mayo here. I have a story to read today to you called The Dog Who Cried Wolf. I hope you like it. The Dog Who Cried Wolf was adapted. This is adapted by Bob Barkley. It's based on the book series by Scholastic, uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog by Norman Bidwell. And it's, this book is illustrated by John Kurtz. It's a beautiful day, Cleo said. Let's play tag in the woods. Uh, I don't think so, Clifford said. Don't you know about Stinky and the Skunk Ghost? They say he haunts the woods, T-Bone said. He's 20 feet tall and he smells as bad as 20 regular skunks. It's just a story, Cleo said. Don't you know Stinky isn't real? Uh, of course we do, said Clifford. Then what are we waiting for, Cleo said. Clifford, you be it. Cleo and T-Bone ran into the woods. Clifford ran after them. Cleo was fast. But Clifford was faster. He reached out to Tagger. Look out behind you, Cleo said. Clifford stopped in his tracks and so did T-Bone. What? they asked. It's Stinky the Skunk Ghost, Cleo cried. Clifford and T-Bone spun around, but no one was behind them. Cleo fell over laughing. I fooled you. That's not funny, said T-Bone. You scared us. I'm sorry, Cleo said, but you guys know Stinky's not real. Come on, let's go swimming. Splish, splash, the dogs jumped into the pond. Uh, where's Cleo? Clifford asked suddenly. She was here a minute ago, said T-Bone. Just then, Cleo cried from the woods, Help, Stinky, the skunk ghost has got me. Clifford and T-Bone ran to the rescue and they found, Cle they found Cleo all alone, alone and laughing. You fooled us again, Clifford yelled. That wasn't nice. It was a joke, Cleo said. Clifford and T-Bone were not amused and they turned and walked away. Don't be mad, Cleo called after them. I'm sorry. Cleo tried to catch up with her friends, but her bow got caught on a branch. Help, Cleo cried. Clifford and T-Bone kept walking. They thought Cleo was playing another trick. And then they heard her cry out again, and Cleo sounded really scared. And something smelled really bad. He, you, Clifford said. That must be stinky. I bet he has Cleo. Clifford and T-Bone ran back into the woods. A skunk did have Cleo, but this was no ghost. The skunk was real, very real, and he left his stinky smell and walked away. T-Bone held his nose while Clifford set Cleo free. Thanks, guys, Cleo said. I'm sorry I played those tricks on you. Cleo ran home, had a bath, and then she went to find her friends. I promise I'll never trick you again. I've learned my lesson the stinky way. Wow, it wasn't very nice of Cleo to trick her friends. That's why they didn't believe her that last time. I hope you guys all enjoyed the story, and I hope that you are all healthy and safe at home, and I will be able to see your smiling faces soon. Bye, Reisterstown.